friends uh, who I've got some friends who are suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Can you give a bit of comment on that and then maybe suggest a dosage? Okay. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis is one of the more difficult uh, arthritis. Uh, the other one is a regular arthritis. Rheumatoid is more of an autoimmune. So it's the is the immune system attacking the tissues in the joint area. Uh, so that usually causes uh, more difficult to treat and it's, uh, uh, it's harder to treat and it causes uh, inflammation in, and causes fluid and de uh, deformation of the joints. So because of the anti-inflammatory property of the function of life, uh, I do have quite a number of uh, people that got better with the Fountain of Life. Um, let me just show you a few of them. Um, I have collected them in the in the joint joint group. So let me let me show you a couple here. Uh, Okay, there we go. So the joints. is one of the autoimmune disease and uh, we have uh, figured out that uh, Fountain of Life helps with uh, different types of rheumatoid arthritis and also I mean uh, different autoimmune disease like Sogreen's disease, lupus and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, there are different, uh, different, different uh, uh, autoimmune disease that Fountain of Life we find that it, uh, it helps. Uh, it's also the inflammation that it causes. So it, it controls the symptoms first. At the same time, it kind of modulates your immune system. So the um, so when you use the Font of Life, some people are afraid of using the Font of Life because the Font of Life boosts the immune system. So they think that autoimmune is because your, your immune system is too good. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's just a wrong conception of the autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is not because your, your immune system is too strong or too good. It's just because your, your immune system is, uh, is out of whack. It's out of, uh, out of line uh, with the normal range. So you just go crazy. It, it means your immune system is going crazy. It's attacking uh, the the your own tissues, the right tissues, the the good tissues, and that's why it uh, uh, it causes the problems. And uh, it's just the 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 immune system is is uh, is attacking its own tissues. So it just cannot differentiate the enemy and the good uh, the good tissues, and they started to attack. It, its own tissues. So rheumatoid arthritis is uh, one of them. And when you use the function of life, it helps the body to, to modulate the immune system. 
and then the immune system would be would behave better somehow. Uh, we just find that that it is helpful for all these uh, different types of autoimmune disease. Would that answer your question, Linda? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's very well explained as usual. Um, I'm wondering about the dosage, and then uh, because most people have been suffering for like five years, ten years, or even I have a uh, you know more than that, more than ten years. So, um, what kind of dosage do we start with, and then uh, how do we bring up the so dosage, so to speak? And the last question is, um, is there such thing as uh, taking too much of FOL? Uh, we do have people that take half a bottle a day. So um, usually we encourage that. And I mean, more dosage is, is, uh, is a little better. Uh, we haven't really he heard anything about overdosage. So people take up to half a bottle. Some people maybe try one bottle a day on a short term, like just for a certain length of time, a few days, or uh, if they're in a big rush to do something with the body. Uh, so there is no, uh, no, not much concern. Most people don't really go beyond that. So it would be a good idea if uh, for therapeutic purposes, usually between three to six pumps would be a, a good range for regular people, especially with the budget uh, budget restraints, um, could be a higher dosage up to nine. And especially for people fighting with uh, more serious uh, or more urgent issues like cancer or something like that, uh, they might want to do a higher dose over even nine nine drops, drops a day. Um, so I, I don't think you would overdose yourself. Okay. Um, if I may, just one more question. Uh, what about prostate cancer? You mentioned something about the dosage of up to nine pumps per day. Uh, can you say something about prostate cancer? Because there are many types of cancer out there, but today in particular, maybe prostate cancer, please. Yeah, prostate cancer is one of the typical ones that uh, we mentioned in the brochure. Uh, so it uh, it kind of belongs to the estrogen uh, related uh, cancer, the hormonal uh, related cancer. So we do have uh, a great a great feedback with people that have prostate cancer and they are a, able to use it and they control their uh, frequency of going to washroom. They were able to sleep through the night and people some people feel the difference in the second or third night. Uh, so it, it does help and the, a lot of people, because of uh, prostate cancer, they do surgeries. So they do surgeries, and they, uh, I, I hear, I hear a number of them that did surgery, and they really suffered because when they do a surgery, they have to, they have to give the body a break. So they use the urethra uh, to to urinate, uh, and then when they do that for the body to recover. That usually takes about a month or two, and they have a urethra in the in their body, and then and then when they sleep at the night, they turn around and they then they kind of uh, kind of irritate the tissues uh, down there, and then they they wake up. It's like they oh, is it going to is is it going to leak? Like you feel like the um the the urine is coming out or something, so they have to really shut down the the valve. And that's that's always waking them up in the night. So when they have that in the body, they could hardly sleep. And some people go through that. And when they they when they take out the the pipe, uh, eventually uh, the 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 urine tract it's it's been loosened up, and then they can't hold it. So sometimes they wear a diaper for a long time. Uh, so these are very traumatic uh, experience for people and uh, sometimes they they could they could not recover or they have difficulty and so if you find a better way of dealing with that and um, which they could try the fund of life it's it definitely it's worth a worth a good try before they they have to go through that 
Okay, and um, related to what you have mentioned so far, uh, what about age? Is there, is there a consideration for dosage? Like, the higher the person's age, then uh, the dosage would be a bit lower, or it's the same for across the board, like, you know, the age group? Uh, usually, usually the higher the age, the more the more dosage they need to use. Uh, as we were saying that uh, uh, the, the the older the people are, they are in more of a acceleration uh, phase of the life. So it's like <laughs> we call it downhill path. So they usually need a higher dosage, especially if they are fighting with a certain condition. So it would be a good idea to and uh, to raise the dosage. But everybody can start with uh, with a trial dosage to see just how the body is, uh, is uh, coping with it. Some people, some people they, they do have a um, uh, reaction to it. Uh, some people are even allergic to a pine tree or Norwegian spruce tree. So for those people, they can, they can try it on the inner wrist or they can try a few drops to, just to see how the body uh, cope with it, and then they can slowly um, increase the dosage to a more comfortable level with the body. Uh, some people feel the reaction in the body. Uh, so let's say we call this healing crisis. So it depends. So we sometimes we have to make adjustments to what comfort comfort level we we want for the body to tide over the. Um, uh, healing crisis period. If it's too much of a comfort, discomfort, then we would like to adjust dosage to a lower or higher dosage. Sometimes people people use a higher dosage to rush over the the, uh, the reaction time or the uh, healing crisis time. Uh, it usually lasts two, three weeks, four weeks, uh, depending on each condition. Every body is a little different. So some people choose to 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 raise the raise the, the stake and then do it faster, they use a higher dose to finish it to, to tide over that period of time. Some people choose to lower the dose to to elongate the process, so it's going to happen a little slower, but they can handle it better. So some people do that as well. Some people feel uh, rashes. Some people feel uh, like a sore, uh, like an ulcer or something. Some people feel some pimples. Uh, coming up on their skin, uh, or, or they feel like some kind of a empty fire coming up. So there are everybody's a little different. So um, people can adjust the dosage according to their budget, according to how the body reacts and uh, how they handle the healing crisis. Okay, thanks a lot, Henry. All right. Okay, let's see the Q and A. Uh, Dr. Rosalind, um, Henry, one of my friends asked that she took FOL and breaking up rashes on the neck. Yeah, that's typical. And arms, and but she took five drops three times a day. When the rashes came back, she stopped. Uh, can it be healing crisis on, uh, or allergies? Because she has been coughing. That is. The reason I encourage her to take FLL, FLL. it seems that FLL helps with the cough. I think she is taking it back again. Um, yes, it could be. It could be a healing crisis. Sometimes people have this reaction. Sometimes we look at it uh, as um, as a detox process. Uh, usually, we have toxins in the liver and kidney, and that's. Uh, typically, why some people have uh, rashes on the on the skin. Uh, sometimes it could also coincident with the time of the season, where like in Canada, uh, we have this particular time of the year when the heat, uh, the the heating in the house uh, or in the apartment start to uh, kind of take uh, uh, take uh, increase the steam. It's uh, it's hot, it's colder and the heat come up more and the air is drier. Some people, some family, they don't have like a humidifier, so the 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 uh, air is dry. And when that happens, uh, it might coincidence with the time when they take the function life. So usually, when people have these uh, rashes, 
I would ask them to check whether they have this humidifier in the house when they have the heat on. Uh, usually, typically, and this time of the year and uh, in the deep uh, uh, autumn time, when the heat comes up, uh, some people feel the rashes uh, on the skin. So if it's not that, then more, more possibility is the inner toxin that's coming out. And some people do have um, uh, allergies that's possible, um, but usually allergies might, if it is allergy, it might uh, act a little more dramatic. Uh, a, a rash is something that you can usually cope with. So it's it's um, um, if if they do have this uh, allergy, I mean this uh, rash on the on the on the body on the skin, uh, they can actually rub some uh, white vinegar on the skin on local area to ease up on the on the on the rash on the on the itchiness, and they can also because of that they don't have to scratch and then cause more deeper or longer lasting. Yeah. No, I'm on Zoom. Yeah. So it's it's a it's a possibility they can they can just uh, uh, change the dose a bit and uh, probably rub some rub some some white vinegar on the skin. The white vinegar is the one that you 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 take in the mouth, so it's it's okay if you if you just uh, uh, rub your skin with it. Okay, we have more people online. Uh, welcome on the call. And if you have any questions or any uh, testimonial to share, uh, it would be great to share with you or uh, with all of us. And uh, me and uh, uh, Juliet, we went to the trade show today and we met a whole lot of people. We sold some bottles. And uh, it's a great, it's a great event. Uh, we enjoyed it. Next time we we we'll welcome more people to join us. Welcome, Larry, Peter, Sarah, and Jane. Uh, welcome, Donna, Betty, and Amy and Cha. Amy and Cha sounds like Singaporean. Where are you call, where are you tabbing in from? And Galaxy, that would be the name of a of a cell phone. If you can change your name so we know how to welcome you. And we have Patrick Lowe and Michael Matthews and Linda and team. Welcome everybody. One more question. Thank you. Okay, very young sir, Dr. Rosling. Okay, thank you. So let me show you one more uh, testimony no, on the. Uh... No, I can't bend this like this, my knee. Yeah. And now it's, I can't do it, everything, you know, I'm yeah. good now. Yeah. And then sometimes it's yeah. um, okay. There's a lot of water on the knee. A lot of water before, now it's much better. Oh, that's great. See? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It rains. Yeah. Wow. The pain? Uh-huh. No, no pain now. Right. Yeah, right. even the night. Uh -huh. Okay. No pain in the night. No pain in the night. Depend the knee. Depend the knee. Those are practical. Those are things. And uh, yeah. Thank, Thank you, Harry. You know, yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. So um. So she had the rheumatoid arthritis for I think twenty years, and she had been struggling with that for years, and. Uh, she was pumping out fluid from her knee every five weeks, seven weeks. She's pumping out, and uh, using the fountain of life, just in less than half a year, she was able to drain the fluid and uh, get rid of the pain and can sleep better in the night. So everything improved for the better uh, after she started taking the fountain of life. So it's very encouraging for people who have arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, it all belongs to the inflammation, infection 
inflammation category, and uh, it's also belong to the autoimmune uh, category of uh, issues that uh, we have found Font of Life typically helping. And it's also good for trigger finger. When people have this uh, crooked finger, they can, they can open it. Um, so when they use it, they were able to flex it. They were able to open, uh, open and close much better. And uh, this is, uh, I have this little video here. Let me show you. Oh, here. Okay, so that was the finger that was not open closed properly. So it's very, very stiff, very stiff, very slow. And this is afterwards, uh, she was able to. Uh, hand ko after ko uminom ng fountain of life uh, dati ito nahirapan ako na magbend ngayon okay na siya uh, four months ko yun four or five months ko ininom ang fountain of life tapos ito naman ito na lang ang may diferensya hindi pa siya nakukurit pero ito okay na yan o ito na lang ito na lang ito yan nahirapan pa siya pero I think she was speaking uh, Filipino language. Is that uh, Filipino, Juliet? Yes, yes, she is. She said that uh, she was taking Fountain of Life for four months and she was able to open uh, the rest of the, the fingers and the middle one still having a little bit uh, hard time opening, but uh, she said it got better. Okay. So the middle finger is still a little stiff, but the every other other fingers are doing well. Uh, okay, thank you for the translation. Uh, we have Sarah here saying for enlarged prostate, is it okay to combine medication given by doctor with FOL or is consuming FOL done be no, better? What dosage should the person take, please? Thank you. Uh, so prostate com uh, enlarged prostate, that's what we call the the bacterial uh, inflammation for the prostate to be swelling. And uh, uh, it, it is okay to combine the medication by the doctor with the font of life. Um, we are not in a position to advise them not to take the doctor's medication, uh, just to take the font of life alone. Uh, some, some people, they choose to do both. Uh, so that, that's okay. Uh, Fount of Life doesn't bother with the medication. It's just as, as, as we said, it's another smoothie. So people use it. Um, the dosage wise, uh, usually for something like that kind of condition, we would encourage like three pumps a day if the budget allow. Uh, if it's more of a cancerous, then they take, uh, take more, nine or 12 pumps a day until symptoms improve and everything settle down. And the next part of her question is, my friend's dog is old and has diabetes, small dog. Will her functional life help them? At the, mo at the moment, I ask her to put one drop a day in her food, in their food. Is this enough? Thanks again. Uh, small dog, usually they might be like uh, 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds. So one or two drops is, is I, 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 would, I would even take more, maybe two or three, three, four drops uh, is, is all okay. It's like for human beings, we can take uh, 10 drops a day or take a hundred drops a day, uh, depending on the budget. I think they can handle a few, maybe two or three, five, it's all okay. Uh, one is not enough. I don't think it's enough. Uh, Nice smoothie. <laughs> it's taking four pounds a day. Thanks, Henry. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sarah.
Recently, I have been uh, also advising people because there's a lot of people get sick with the cold, with coughing and stuff like that. It might not necessarily be any COVID or anything, but it's just just whatever whatever maybe from many years ago starts or <laughs> the, the 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 virus that just uh, died down to be a more of a common cold or some kind of a, a virus cold. Uh, so when people are coughing. We usually advise people to take every one hour. Depending on their budget, they can take 10 drops every one hour or half a drop at one hour uh, or full drop at one, uh, every one hour. So usually they get better faster. Um, they, I, uh, there was one day I, I played, uh, I played the tennis uh, in and out, uh, maybe a little drop or cold got into my body. So I, I have a little sore throat in the middle of the night. So I just woke up and I, I started to to drift from her life to 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 my to my mouth uh, consistently every five minutes ten minutes I just do that. So the next morning when I woke up, uh, it it like the cold didn't seem to happen or the, the sore throat didn't uh, materialize, and I I I thought I was just having a having a dream. Uh, so I was doubting whether I had a cold. I would have had a sore throat, but I just remember that, and it did seem to improve. Uh, just a, just a cu couple of, uh, uh, like the first day when we went to the show, me and, uh, and uh, Juliet, we had to, we had to drag this uh, long uh, route of, uh, <laughs> of bridges and everything to go to the show, uh, because we we thought it's the south we thought it's the north building, but it's actually in south building. So we drag all the luggage and everything across, and we all got sweaty. Uh, so it was a bit of a cold, sort of um, probably the the uh, got into our body. Uh, so I I I did go to bed very early. I think Junior Junior did as well. Um, but I, I I again I did a lot of uh, a fun of life. This, the, the same day that day, because I was showing the the um, passes by the na it's called a women's show national national women's show. There's a lot of people passing by, and we were just talking. We were we were showing how people how to take <laughs> the funk of life. So half a syringe, one syringe, every twenty minutes, half an hour, we'll do that to show people. So I think that all did the trick. So the next day, 100% uh, back to, to normal. So we, we, we worked three days in a row, very hard working, a lot of talking. Um, so that is, uh, is very, um, very good when you have this kind of uh, acute uh, you, uh, happening in your body, like a cold or virus or something, uh, you just up the dosage. I tell her to increase. She's bought a few bottles. Thanks again. She will be so happy when they are condition uh, the condition improve. Yes, yes. We nobody wants to suffer from any condition. So if they can if they can manage the dosage, they usually get better faster. Uh, we are all happy when our health condition improves. I was talking to one of the ladies today. And she said uh, somehow her husband got into some kind of firearm charge or something. So she was dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of uh, police activities. And then she herself is like great, dragged down a lot. So these kind of things usually wears on your mind and drag you down, make you depressed, stressed out. And then uh, you don't eat, you don't sleep. And eventually, it's going to the body is going to crack. So at this uh, time of uh, stress, usually take more of the funk of life. That would be very helpful as well. I was showing a lot of uh, <clears throat> testimonials, and uh, we actually uh, the company rolled out uh, a testimonial uh, testimonial collection. I hope. Uh, I hope uh, you all watched it. I can I can play a little bit here, uh, just to put this. Uh, oh, 
Ramadan. So it is important that uh, she, she would have actually have enough dosage of it. She could actually try a little more dosage. Some people. Not that one. Um, I think it's um. Oh, yeah. Okay, I hope you can hear. Are you able to hear? I think I might be able to find you from the internet. I think there is a link to that. Can you it's hear? Actually on YouTube. It's actually on YouTube. Uh, subscribe on Opulence Global. It will be uh, there. Oh, I just yeah. posted a day ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's uh, that one is uh, a very good edited uh, uh, clip. So you can uh, forward it to people. It cover a very wide range of uh, symptoms and the conditions in the body. And here, there's a testimony from Sarah, I think. Yes. And she said, uh, I developed a small ulcer on lower left lip and has pain in lower right throat. I think it's an ulcer too. I dropped the fountain of life in right side of the throat and let it uh, slide down. Also applied a few drops on the ulcer on the left next morning. 
Vala, Peng Gong, and the lower left lip also seem to have dried up. Can still feel, but no pain, etc. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing. Uh, yes, absolutely so. Glad Rosalind and Patrick introduced me to it. Thank you both. I appreciate it very much. Okay, no, very muffled. Okay, yeah, I assume it's uh, usually from a, a cell phone to to the computer. It's it will be muffled, but it's available on the on the internet. I think we can probably send the link to the to the chat groups. Um, so that one is uh, yes, we. Uh, everybody who gets on uh, gets to know the fount of life, especially especially when they when they try it, they love it. They feel lucky or blessed that they got uh, into using it. Or uh, some people some people they are very skeptical. They don't want to try it. They don't want to believe it. Uh, when I show them the the person that was uh, was on a, on a wheelchair was walking with difficulty, and uh, all of a sudden, after one half month, uh, they started dancing. And the person said, "I work in the hospital. I don't believe this is possible at all." <laughs> so, so it is it is hard to believe because it does wonders. Uh, no, nobody nobody can believe it. Uh, it's just it it happens, and we know it's true. So it's just a matter of people who have the luxury uh, or the blessing to try it, and then they would be able to to uh, to use it, like it, and then spread the word like us, like we do now. Thank you, Juliet. Uh, let me see whether this is playable. Copy, select, copy. Sometimes these are links I cannot copy and paste. That's YouTube. Here is the Fund of Life testimonial link. Yes. Okay, we still have some, about 20 minutes. If you have any questions or any testimonial, or if you'd like me to share some of the information, okay. Uh, let's also go back to uh, talk about the, the digital coin that we are rolling out. Um, if you want to, let me see, uh, Canada Post, custom form. Okay, are you able to see the custom form here? Oh, that's not going up. Sharing a new share. Okay, so this is where you can buy some, uh, uh, we call the uh, exit token. Let me just show you where to get it. So first of all, you log into your account, and then you you log in, and then you will be able to buy the opponent currency. So in here, for example, you go to your back office, you log in, and then you go to the financial. You go to financial, 
and this is financial. And from there, you just say open currency. And you see there are different buttons here. So the buy open currency is where you buy the currency. So let's go here and say, hey, I want to buy $10. So see here. The promotion picture is here. So we click it and they open up the number, the quantity, you say $10 or $20, you add to cart, you go to checkout, and then you choose, you choose the source of uh, funds, whether you want to use the year wallet or whether you want to use the, uh, okay, it's already open currency. So use my year wallet and from there, you have to agree to the terms and conditions that once you buy it, you don't you don't transfer that back to your e-wallet. So you have to use it on this platform. You just say agree. Agree, double click. Come in. Okay, so once you agree to the conditions, you will be able to finalize. So you finalize, it's still running. Okay, so now it's coming up. Maybe too many people buying the token right now, getting busy. Why it's not coming? Anyway, uh, so the token is uh, at one penny per token. So if you buy it, uh, you you can see it in the transaction history of your open currency. It tells you how many open currency you transfer to the exit token, and then it's going to be hold, uh, hold, held, hold, held in the, in the open currency account. And once you have your e-wallet uh, or your, um, your crypto wallet, then you can transfer to your crypto wallet. Wallet, it's not okay. Oh, shopping cart. It it didn't didn't seem to work. Sometimes the 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 website um, uh, act crazy. Dashboard. Okay, let's go back to financial, open currency, buy open currency, and then you choose how many you buy. Let's say you want $10, uh, add to cart, go to checkout, and you agree to the conditions, agree. Okay, using the e-wallet, agree to the conditions, We'll do it again. Okay, now we just finalize the order. So finalize, then you have purchased $10. So once you purchase, you can find it in your order. And it says you have some currency in there. Okay, so $10 in here, and then uh, we'll go back to the open the currency part. And we'll find the transfer button. So see here. Okay, now it's back. So we go to financial, we go to alternate currency, 
we go to transfer OC to exit token. So here, we just say transfer OC to exit token. It's a little slow here. Okay, so we're back on track. So see here, I bought ten thousand. I bought ten thousand dollars here, and then let's say I transfer to, let's say ten dollars or maybe a hundred dollars to the opulence holding account. So if you don't have a crypto e-wallet, your exit token will be securely stored in a corporate holding account. All transactions are public and traced by the BSC scam page. Okay, so I have read and agreed to conditions transfer to OC. And I just ex executed. So it's running. And then it'll give me a confirmation that I bought a hundred dollars of to uh, exit token. If you buy one thousand, it'll give you ten dollars more of the token. If you buy ten thousand you will get 1,000 more in tokens. So that will be 100,000 tokens more when you buy 10,000. Okay, it seemed to have stopped running and I haven't seen the transaction yet. So let's do it again. We are currently working on this feature. Please try again later. Okay. Internet connection is unstable. Not sure what happened. <laughs> so this is the way how you do it. When the when the system is up and running, uh, this is where you do it. Okay, so uh, chat. Let's stop this sharing chat. Okay, here is one of life. Thank you, the link. Uh, Sarah is Ninda, it's from Juliet. And I cannot see your share screen. Henry, so we can transfer the exit token from Optimus account to our e wallet anytime later on. Yes. Yes, we, if, if you have a known e wallet or crypto wallet, you can, you can provide the address and then the company can transfer that to to you or when you even when you first buy it you can choose to provide the uh, e-wallet address but we we are uh, we have to ask the company what is the what do you call it the contract address something to to identify the exit token so once you have that you can transfer to your e-wallet Okay, we have eight more minutes left. And uh, there's no charge. I don't see any charge. This one can check when we transfer. Uh, there's no charge when you transfer. Uh, it, eventually, when you transfer to your e, crypto e wallet, um, there's no charge until you transfer from e-wallet to e-wallet. I think that's when when the um, transaction fees comes. So we have this uh, website just for the token, token 
uh, money, the token currency to buy products. It's called designermall.io. So we would have the products in there that's available for people uh, using the cryptocurrency. Um, and after the after the one month, we are running the for the members from November to December the seventh. So we are the privileged people that have the first hand uh, access to the crypto token, the exit token. So it's at a one penny. So by the time it reaches the exchange, I think it's in Hong Kong, uh, it will be market price. So it will, let's say whether it's two penny or 10 cents or whatever it is, it's going to be the market uh, market behavior. So it might go up and down. So in the in the first month, we have the opportunity to buy them at the at the lowest. I think uh, hopefully it's going to go up, maybe more or maybe less. Uh, there's still risk in it, so so uh, uh, evaluate your uh, risk risk taking ability. So don't overdo it. Just do what you can afford, and uh, hopefully this is going to be financially. And rewarding for us as well. Uh, the bottom line is you can still use it to buy products, to launch your partners, or do monthly smart buy. So this is our our platform token. So it's a utility token, unlike uh, what's on the market. There are so many we call air coins in the market that doesn't worth anything. Uh, it's not worth anything. Okay, so we are getting close. Cecilia, welcome. Anybody has more questions, uh, even on the back office uh, navigation? The back office sometimes is just it, it, it's like autoimmune. Sometimes they give us some trouble, but uh, but uh, if you if you you just have to oh profile image. You can put your image. You can put your name uh, image on the website. You just go to the go to the uh, back office and then you click profile and then you can add your image. You can add your picture to your to your back office. The internet is a little unstable. I don't know. It could be my my site. It could be my computer. Donna, okay, Donna, you go ahead. Donna, you're on. Yes, Donna, you are a panelist. Yeah, promoted to be a panelist. And your mic is open if you want to share or okay, Donna, you are a co host now. Or you are promoted. We cannot hear you.
Okay, maybe he raised a hand by by mistake. Anyway, um, it's almost nine o'clock, ten o'clock actually our time. It must be eleven o'clock in Asia. Uh, so we are going to close the call today. And uh, we had a long day today as well at the show, talked a lot. So I'm going to close it and we'll see you next week, same time at uh, uh, nine o'clock. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Have a good night, good evening, good day, wherever you are. Thank you. We'll see you. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.